My name is Michael Carroll. Ten years ago, I won £10 million on the lottery. Today, I have a pound. Illiterate. I will make sure you will get five years. Obese. And suffering from severe depression. Now the money's all gone, Michael Carroll is on the brink of collapse. His only chance? A punishing rehabilitation programme that will attempt to improve his intellect, shift his weight, and tackle the mental health issues that nearly cost him his life. Through Michael's journey, we will explore how inadequate adult education, rising obesity rates and depression amongst young men are impacting modern Britain and what is being done to tackle them. So, just how do you spend £10 million in 10 years? When I won a lottery, um, I felt lightheaded and shocked. Well, the first, uh, first thing I bought was a leather jacket, which is 140 quid. I spent 325,000 on a mansion in Swatham, an extra 40,000 to buy the field beside it, 200,000 pounds doing the house up, putting a swimming pool indoor on it, and then I bought another bungalow for 325,000, another bungalow for 160,000, a million pounds to my mum, I gave a million pounds to my auntie Kelly and Uncle Steve in between them, and I gave a million pounds to my ex-wife's mum, 10,000 pounds to one of my sisters, 5,000 pounds to another one of my sisters, and I started buying my gold. 100 grand sit around my neck, 30 grand around my wrists, <laughs> quarter of a million pound on cars. My racehorse was called King of the Chairs. I threw 100 grand on drink, I think. For two years, I was spending 2,000 pound a day on cocaine and crack cocaine. Many pills I didn't eat, really. <laughs> I was buying them by a thousand, taking acid every now and again, two prostitutes a day. I like, that was a lot. Um, some was up 200 pound, 300 pound, 400 pound, 500 pound. With more money comes more problems, and Michael knows this well. Come and tell it, come and tell it to him. You bought all your mates, Michael, apparently, according to her. Fuck off down your own street, Alana, I swear to God, no. You've got no business down He's here. received verbal and physical aggression from people he's never met, and even his own friends and family have manipulated him. Money can buy you things you wanted, but that brings a lot of hassle with it and all. Uh, people try to blackmail you. Death threats. I gave my auntie Kelly a million pounds, so I had every reason to trust her. I put three pop deeds in her name and they come around and bit me in the ass. When Michael won the lottery, there was a public outcry. Many people didn't think a young, unemployed boy with a history of crime deserved to win such a huge amount of money. Michael was regularly in the media for all the wrong reasons, often fueled by his own behaviour. It can be extremely difficult for illiterate adults to find decent, affordable education, but we want Michael to find prosperous employment in the future and think it's vital that he gains a good education. I learnt more in jail. Education didn't teach me nothing in school. I learnt how to read and write in jail. Michael ballooned to a whopping 22 stone because of his binges on unhealthy food. Now he wants to get back into shape through one of his passions in life, boxing, seen by many as a violent, outdated and mindless sport. When we have a way of each other, we fight with the gloves on, so we're in friendship. That's it, mate. Well, how many times have you seen done it? <laughs> a lot. A lot. With many young men reluctant to come forward about depression, is there enough awareness around the subject of mental health for young males? Michael himself has attempted suicide twice in the last two years and was clearly suffering from severe depression. You can't find your answer in the bottom of a bottle, I know that. I know that. When uh, my ex-girlfriend left me and my daughter, that ruined I was, I had no money left and I was happy. And then she left me out to dump me in. So that's what I tried to take my own life and when my mates found me, they're laying there. Um, I, every time I started feeling like that, I just had to get out of my own house. Just go. Because after I tried to do that, when I was like, thought about myself the next day, I thought I was selfish bastard, I was leaving two daughters behind, you know what I mean? For Michael Carroll, the last ten years have been a roller coaster ride of highs and lows, and nothing emphasises this more than his money. Well, what I realised about that money is uh, when I got back down to my last pound. Which I didn't win that money, really, because I only had a pound to start with.
Michael knows it's going to take a Herculean effort to complete his rehabilitation and become a positive role model who can help people from making the same mistakes he did. Is he ready for the challenge? Now I'm sorting myself out. The biggest thing I'm looking forward to is getting fit and fitness and um, losing my weight. The bit I'm not looking forward to is a college. Come on. Good morning, your progression as time goes on, yeah?